In this video, I'll highlight three signs you need a technical coach. I know some really good Agile coaches and Scrum Masters, and they work with development teams to improve the way they work. And I don't want to knock that. I think it's really useful and beneficial in many situations. However, the effectiveness of software delivery is not only about the development methodology or process. And some of those things you can change won't fix all your problems. Sometimes it's more about engineering and code. Technical coaching can help you with issues that your regular Agile coach can't touch. Hi, I'm Emily Bache, technical coach and creator of Saman Coaching. In my channel, you can find content for technical coaches and lead developers. If you enjoy what you see here, please hit subscribe and like. Also, I've got a Patreon. You should have a look at it. You can find additional materials and support from there. First sign, you spend more time fixing bugs than building new features. So look at all the tasks you work on each week and ask yourself how much time is being spent on innovative new features and how much on fixing defects? Some teams, the answer is as little as 5% of their time spent on proactive new work, which is pretty shockingly poor productivity. And those teams are missing out on the most fun part of software development, which is making cool features that will make lives better for people who are going to use the software. Most people get into this business because they like building new stuff, not fixing bugs. Turning this situation around could take some engineering know-how. Fundamentally, you need shorter feedback loops and more and better automated tests, which will increase the code quality and reduce the number of bugs. So often the root cause of all those defects is technical debt and code that is hard to understand and change. A technical coach can train developers to get better at writing automated tests get better at refactoring safely and help them increase that code quality. Second sign, delivery of new features is delayed, sometimes more than once. Are your new features around 80% done for long periods and then take forever to actually be ready for release? Often that's the biggest complaint from customers and other stakeholders, schedule slippage. And it's really frustrating for developers too because you've, you've made this cool stuff and you want to share it and it's being held up by merge conflicts or that other team that isn't ready yet. Late deliveries are often caused by ineffective engineering practices. To build a new version of your software, you need to bring a whole team's worth of expertise to bear and integrate and test your work frequently. Talking about continuous delivery always having the code in a deployable state. You always have something ready for delivery, no need to delay the release. One of the challenges with continuous delivery is achieving continuous integration. It's a prerequisite. Developers need to integrate their work into the common code base at least once a day. And many developers struggle to work in small enough coding increments. It's not what you've been taught, it's not what you're used to, how you can break up your work into small pieces like that. Technical coaching can help. You can learn how to work in small steps with automated tests. You can build healthy habits for those minute by minute decisions of your daily work. What lines of code to change first, when to run the tests, when to commit and share your code with the rest of the team. Test driven development is a key skill here. And that's completely different to the long-lived feature branches that are so common in our industry. Third sign, the code is so bad, you just want to rewrite the whole thing. So one thing we learned from the browser wars of the 1990s, yes, I was around then, is that stopping to rewrite your product from scratch can be a fatal mistake for a software company. Not delivering any new features for months or even years gives your competitors a golden opportunity to take all of your users from you. Most business people have trouble comprehending a request to spend months creating from scratch something that already exists and makes money. That would in fact make more money if you could just deliver the feature I asked for. So usually 
An organization arrives in this situation after many years of accumulated technical debt. The technologies originally chosen become outdated and are not upgraded in a timely way. Developers in the past have made design decisions that were probably perfectly sensible at the time, but five or 10 years later, if you scratch, just scratching your head. Why did they do it like that? Then new developers come in, they build stuff in a different way, inconsistencies pile up, and gradually the code quality just gets worse and worse. It gets harder and harder to add new features in a reasonable amount of time. Technical coaching teaches skills that let developers gain control over technical debt. Teams learn to migrate code to newer technologies in a series of smaller, less risky steps, adding new functionality as they go. Refactoring is a key skill here, but so is creating a culture that everyone recognizes the value of improving code quality, can communicate about the direction and goals for the design, and are making progress in the same direction. If you're seeing any of these signs in your organization, you spend more time fixing bugs and building new features, Delivery of features is delayed, sometimes more than once. The code is so bad, you just want to rewrite the whole thing. Then I'd like to suggest that hiring a process coach or a management consultant is only going to go so far to solve your problems. I think those signs point to problems in the code, in a lack of good engineering practices, not having enough fast, useful, automated tests. To fix those things, you need technical coaching. And that's what I do, technical coaching. I help teams to learn skills like refactoring, test-driven development, incremental design, all the fundamentals that developers need in organizations that want to achieve continuous delivery or do modern software engineering, but have a lot of technical debt. I share as much as I can to support other coaches and teams who need coaching. And that's why I'm publishing guided learning hours on this channel. Those are all about building coding skills and improving team culture and communication. I recommend hiring a technical coach or growing your own coaches from your best developers. And if you like what I'm doing here, please hit subscribe and like. Happy coding.